Hello, hey, hi everyone. A very good afternoon to all of you. Wow, <laughs> we have come a long way today. It's our 27th session uh, of our Marketing Institute of Singapore lunchtime webinar. And I uh, really want to thank all of you here for staying all the way with us. And uh, well, it's sad to say that today will be our last sessions for our lunchtime webinar where we support the Singapore Stay at Home SG. Okay, so. Yep, I hope that, you know, uh, when it uh, comes the 2nd of June, uh, that all of you will probably adopt a new lifestyle right now. And uh, of course, you know, some of you will probably be getting back to work uh, or your workplace. You probably have been working from home. <laughs> so you're probably quite alien right now getting into your workplace right now. And you know what? I was being told that you know, some of them, they don't even know what will happen in the office. Uh, haven't been there for almost like one and a half months, um, you know. Uh, so I think I think it's a new experience, right? Altogether. So, uh, well, let's see what will happen. Okay, on the second of June itself. Now today, <coughs> uh, it's none other than me that will be presenting, and I'll be touching on uh, building business resil resiliency with uh, personal branding. Um, it will not be as the usual uh, sharing uh, by our trainer because I'm not a trainer myself. <laughs> now it will be more on me uh, sharing. On my experience in terms of uh, personal branding, my life journey uh, till now, um, you know, just to share with all of you on what I've been doing uh, and at the same time, some of the points on uh, what I think is cr critical and crucial in terms of building brands, okay? So uh, I hope today uh, you can just, uh, well, share with me, uh, I mean, join me in today's lunchtime webinar and at the same time, uh, enjoy your lunch at the same time, okay? Okay, uh, now I'm not going to go through the whole thing uh, in detail, but I will go through it quickly, very, very quickly. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, uh, the Marketing Institute of Singapore, of course, we are a not-for-profit body, and therefore, please like us on Facebook, okay? We are doing all this uh, really for you, all of you out there, and you know it's been free for the past 26, and today is our 27 sessions. So... The least that you can do for us is really to click on the like buttons and the share buttons on your Facebook, on uh, Marketing Institute of Singapore Facebook itself. And of course, like what I've promised, right, uh, during uh, the presentation of Iwan Satawan, giving away this free marketing 4.0 book, okay, uh, which is authored by Philip Kotler, uh, whom he celebrated the birthday on the 27th of May, Samawan Katujaya. And at the same time, Iwan Setawan, the speaker, I think if you can see it here, okay? Now, uh, initially, I only promised to give out four, but however, I think, you know, we should give out, due to overwhelming response, we'll be giving out to the six, six, oh, six of you out there. All right, th this book itself, uh, it's worth at 37.40 each, okay? So, the sixth winner for the book is, the first one is Charlie Chan, yeah. Shell, uh, Dragon Cat, wow, what a name, Dragon Cat Yip. Uh, Tiada, uh, I believe that's, that's a friend of ours. And Bhavani, uh, our trainer. <laughs> and of course, uh, to Arusan itself. Okay? So six of you, uh, you'll be hearing from MIS. Uh, please do us a favor, drop your contact details. And today, for all, all of you out here, if you find that you really need the book, okay, we still have a couple more. Do let us know on our Zoom chat right now so that we can reserve the book for you. We'll probably give away another four more, okay? All right, that is my own personal collection, which I'm going to give away to all of you. All right, for staying with us throughout the COVID period. I think some of you here really well deserve uh, the book. Uh, I think Evelyn, I don't know if you're here today. Uh, and of course, uh, some of you that has been, Thomas, Vincent, I think you have been here with us, you know, throughout the lockdown period. Benny, okay, Benny, you'll get a book. <laughs> Drop your details right now so that we will reserve the book for you, Benny. All right. And uh, I think I saw Carolyn, uh, Christine, you know, all of you are very regular uh, attending our lunchtime webinar itself. Okay. Yes, Benny, I got your details. Catherine, of course, my favorite professor, Catherine Tay. Don't worry, that one, I've already reserved one for you. So it's not uh, in these four books that we will be giving out. Okay. So three more, three other books. Whoever want the books, do let us know right now. We have three copies of this book that is valued at thirty-eight dollars and forty cents. So if you want that book, it's it's quite it's it's very readable. In fact, 
uh, and there are a lot of new concepts, okay, in this book. There's there are a lot, lot of new concepts, and I really love it. Okay, so um, there are three more to go. So if you want this book itself, put down in the Zoom webinar chat that you want the book and drop us your email detail. So Benny, I will be reserving one for you, okay? So for the rest of you out here, uh, if you still want the book itself, drop your contact details on our Zoom webinar and tell us that you want the book, okay? So I've just flashed our earlier six winner uh, or to the book itself. So yeah, so congratulations to all of you. Uh, we still have another three more to go, okay? Plus, and I want for Professor Katrin Tay. <laughs> I think we all enjoyed her session yesterday, right? Okay, let's give her a round of applause again. <laughs> all right, next slide, please. <clears throat> and uh, of course, MIS, you know, we have the executive uh, training, development training itself. So uh, do look out for more training sessions that you can, uh, if you want to, uh, do sign up for our training courses, okay? And find out more on how you can get a discount. Right, you'll be surprised, huh? Uh, you just join us as a member and you'll be able to get a discount. Now, I'm going to go straight into my presentation today because it's a long presentation. So, I'm going to keep you company for the next 50 minutes. Okay, unlike the rest of the time uh, where when the speaker speaks, right, I can just turn off the camera and then I'll, you know, perhaps uh, have a drink or two and things like that. But today, I'm going to stay throughout. <laughs> so, hopefully, uh, you know, today will be our last. Uh, lunchtime webinar and uh, we, we really hope to see you in our other events so find out more on how you can join us on our other events by joining us as our Marketing Institute of Singapore Associate Member. Okay, now let's get into action. <clears throat> can, I, can, I, can I do a bit of self-promotion? Is it okay? Because we're talking about personal branding and today we are, no, I'm not conducting this course. It's really a sharing, all right? So if you've got very good, uh, if you've got some good examples that you want, to bring out, just let me know. I'll be able to allow you to speak, okay? And of course, I'm seeing ah, my, my very favorite sister, Ma'am Gwen. She's the immediate past president of the Asia Marketing Federation. Oh, I have someone to put up their hand. Hang on. Georgina Tay. Okay, I'll allow you to speak, Georgina. You can speak right now. Hi, Georgina. I know you have been attending our... Oh, can you, can you get the book? Of course. Because I, I noticed that you were there every day, okay? So drop us your contact details. Uh, Georgina, uh, like what Benny did. Yeah, drop us your email so that uh, our staff will be emailing you and will deliver to your place, okay? So you don't have to collect from us. We'll deliver the book to your place. Thanks, Georgina. We'll give you that book for sure, okay? Now, if you have others, uh, okay, VZ, VZ something. Hang on. I've seen, uh, there's another one, VZ PKL. I know who you are. <laughs> Georgina, yes, I've got your email address. That's Georgina Tay at live.com.sg. Okay, you'll be hearing from us very soon. Uh, thanks, man, Gwen. <laughs> you'll be hearing from us very soon. Who else wants the book? Uh, Georgina, you can put down your hand, right? Okay, great. Um, now, VK, uh, VK, VK, sorry, VZPKL. All right, uh, I need your, yes. Okay, VK, can you drop me the email, your email right now? All right, and of course, Sakchai, my good friend, Sakchai, uh, from uh, Thailand, our friends from the Marketing Association of Thailand, I'll reserve one, that one on my own for you. VK, can I have your contact details, please? Okay, yep, I've got yours. Yours is V, sorry, VZEC at staroncapital.com. Okay, I'll reserve that book. So we've got one last book to give away. One last book. Dave, don't worry, I'll give it to you. One last book to give away. Dave, yes, I already reserved that for you. Carolyn, yes, Carolyn, our last winner for today. Carolyn, yes, you will get it. All right, and Carolyn, please drop us your email right now. Okay, without further ado, uh, Carolyn, can I have your email address so that uh, our, our staff will be able to get hold of you, okay? They'll be sending you an email and probably will be arranging for a grab delivery to your place. Yeah. Okay, right. So today, <laughs> the topic that we're touching on is actually building business resiliency with personal branding. Can I have the next slide, please? Now, if you allow me, I will just turn off my screen <clears throat> and I'll, so that you can actually focus on this, okay? 
Um, building uh, business resiliency with personal branding, it's, it's really critical right now, especially when we are during our COVID-19 and even post-COVID itself, that business are actually suffering. So just a bit of introduction, if I may, <laughs> to introduce myself. Okay, hi. Okay, my name is Roger Wang. Okay, I'm the Managing Director of the Essential Works Private Limited, which is a integrated marketing company itself. Uh, we do a lot of uh, below-the-line events activities to find out more about us. And of course, thanks to all my members that voted me as the president of the member, the Marketing Institute of Singapore, and I gladly serve with honor, all right, as the president of the Marketing Institute of Singapore. And of course, I'm also the founder and vice president, one of the founders, in fact, for the Global Chinese Marketing Federation. Um, the other side of me is that I also practice karate since very young, so I'm the president of the Karate Do Union of Singapore itself, which we see about Currently, there are about 13 clubs and there are about 2,000 karate practitioners. Um, I'm also the chief representative of the China Council for Promotional of International Trade Commercial Sub Council for Singapore itself. All right, so that is almost like the IE equivalent of Singapore, but however, I'm representing them in Singapore itself. And we, we do have our friends from the CCPID, uh, CSC uh, from China logging in, Liu Yaping. Hi, Liu Yaping. Nihao. Okay. Uh, now, besides that, I'm also the Group Strategic Marketing Consultant for CK Cooperative Limited, a uh, holding company which has 35 subsidiary companies. Um, <clears throat> NTUC is also part of uh, the ownership for that company. So I've been appointed as the Group Strategic Marketing Consultant for the past three years. And I'm also one of the director of the CK Hospitality UK Limited, where we manage and own eight hotels in UK. Okay, so that's about me. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, Jovi, okay, okay, Jovi, Jovi, okay, I'll do you this favor, okay, you want that book. Uh, all right, uh, Jovi, drop me your email, okay, I'll give you that book, okay. All right, so Jovi, drop your email right now. <laughs> okay, next slide, please. Now, before I begin, now we are talking about personal branding, right? And of course, personal branding is very, very important, okay. Um, say, for example, let, let me ask you a question. If today you want to find someone, Okay, where do you find them? Usually we'll go up to like search, uh, you know, we'll search for them on Facebook, on LinkedIn, uh, you know, if we can, in, even on, uh, on their tweets and things like that. Okay, now let me share with you one experience. I think uh, Professor Branson, you are here. Professor Branson is the executive director of uh, our Marketing Institute of Singapore. I remember the very first, uh, session that I have with him in his previous office, he gave me a surprise. He managed to find all my pictures and uh, some of my some of my credentials, and he presented it to me. All right, so I was like, ah, okay. So he actually find me on LinkedIn and some of the website. So well done, Prof. You know. So nowadays, when 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 we want to know about someone, right, before we even meet up with that person itself, it's quite usual for us to actually find them on some of the social media platforms. So be careful on what you do on your social media platform, all right? So the, especially, you know, nowadays the platform is critical, in fact, crucial for personal branding, okay? So like what I said, if you do not manage your own personal branding, someone will manage it for you, all right? <laughs> okay, so um, that, before we start, there's always some a, a person or a group of people uh, that's usually behind the company itself, right? especially uh, business or corporate resiliency in COVID-19. It's not the company. You are actually dealing with the person itself. All right. So I think uh, sometimes you have heard about your know, brand ambassador of the company or sales champion of the company. Even the CEO, the CIO, the CFO, and the CTO, all these are the C-suite people, which are person, all right, people. And they do have their own personal branding. It's just how much and how, how are they doing it, all right, on what kind of platform. All right. So... <clears throat> Without further ado, let's guess. Okay, today I'm going to play a game with all of you. <laughs> if you can guess uh, what which brand is this right now, uh, I'm going to drop you a bag. Okay, a very nice laptop bag uh, from Marketing Institute of Singapore. It's a branded bag, uh, by the way. Uh, what's the brand again? Ah, Hugus. 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 Uh, laptop bag. So, Judy, please help me to take note. The very first one that can guess this brand right now will get the bag, okay? By just looking at the color and the very tiny details. Anyone from the webinar chat? 
anyone. <laughs> yeah, Jovi, don't worry, you'll get the book. Yes, Jovi, thanks uh, for joining us. You will definitely get the book. You are also one of our regular. Okay, who? Oh, sorry, what brand is this? Okay, no one gets it right, right? Okay, so that's it, huh? Sure, I'm going to count to three. Three, two, one. Okay, let me disclose the brand slowly, bit by bit. If you know it, put it in the webinar chat. I'll be able to see from here. Okay, let's disclose the next. Now, do you know what brand is this? You don't? You don't know? Anyone here? Any guess? <laughs> let's disclose further. You should be able to know it right now, right? Karen Lim, Mikey. <laughs> yes, Jovi, you got it right. Okay, let's disclose the whole brand, Coca-Cola. You see, by just looking at the tiny details of some of the colors itself, you'll be able to tell the brand, right? Okay, so that's why, that's what they have been doing. You know? They've been doing a very good job. Now, of course, branding is never just about typography. There are, there are a lot of things behind building brands, which I think you've heard from some of our speakers. Uh, the brand experience uh, from P. Subramaniam and from Bavik in terms of building brands itself. I'm not, talking, I'm not going to tell you about how to build a corporate brand, okay? I'm sharing with you my personal journey in terms of building personal branding. Let's go on to the second one. Anyone can guess it right. <laughs> okay, Gary Wong, you got it right. Jovi, you got it right. Okay, let's guess. This tiny detail, can you guess what brand is this? Very difficult, okay? It's very tough. Okay, so if you can guess it right now, I'm going to give you a back. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll just release a bit more. If you can guess it on my second cue. You can get it. Third cue. Should be able to get it right now, right? Anyone from the chat? If you can get it. Yes, Jovi, you want yourself a bag. So, Jovi, can we disclose the brand right now? Jovi, I think we have your details, right? Okay, so we're going to send you the bag and the book. That's Starbucks Coffee, right? Okay, Starbucks Corporation. Okay, next. Wow, today we are feeling very generous <laughs> because it's our last session, by the way. <laughs> uh, Benny, a bit too late. <laughs> Okay, don't worry, don't worry, we've got more coming. Okay, now, uh, let me disclose a bit more. I think with that tiny dot, we can tell what is it. Okay, come, let's go. Aha. Uh -huh. Anyone? With an I and a small little registered R. You can't? Okay, let's disclose a bit more. And you still can get it back if you can, if you can tell us right now. Can anyone guess? Holy? No? <laughs> <laughs> Remember the I, it ends with an I and the R, okay? So I is the ending word, okay? So what is that? Okay, I'm going to disclose one more, okay? So if you can get it, you'll still be able to get it back, okay? The very first one on the chat screen itself. Okay, let's go. Uh huh. Are you able to get it right now? Someone, anyone. I know of a lot of marketers out here. Yes, Caroline, congratulations. You got yourself a free. That goes back from MIS with MIS branding. So, Judy, please take note. Okay, that's Pepsi Go, right? You got it right. Okay, now next. <coughs> what about now? Next brand. Okay, I'm going to disclose a bit more. Some more. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, if you can guess this, I'm going to give you a back right now. Okay, thank, uh, congrats, uh, Caroline. You, you got it back. Okay. Uh huh. Can someone? Can someone of you? Anyone? Anyone? BMW. Nice try, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> Rachel Lu. Uh, BMW. Uh, there's another acronym for BMW. I think in the in the east they call it "Be My Wife." <laughs> Audi. Close, Benny. <laughs> Benz. Carolyn. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to disclose because the, the moment I disclose the next one, I think you will probably know it, okay? So those that have a bag, right? Just hold back your horses. Give, leave it to those that uh, that did not receive the bag itself. Let's disclose the next next detail. Next detail. Anyone? Aha. Uh -huh. Should be able to get it. Yes, Benny, you got it. <laughs> Benny, drop me your... I think I do have your email address. If I don't, just do drop us your the email address again. Right, Apple, my favorite brand. <laughs> uh, Chanel and Gucci. Uh, NG? <laughs> okay, 
Yeah, Angie, I think uh, you know, I'm probably living on a very high life. <laughs> like, okay, Benny, I got your detail. Okay. All right, let's go on to our next slide. Oh, okay. I have to tell you this uh, this color itself, it's a registered color. Okay, it's a registered color. Uh, and not anyone can use it. Okay, it's a registered pen phone color itself. Rachel. <laughs> okay, Rachel Lewis. You got it. Tiffany. <laughs> Let's disclose it. Okay, do you know that this color uh, it's registered and proprietary to Tiffany? Okay, so you see there are a lot of brand, brand, uh, branded companies out there. Really, they did a good job in terms of branding. With even the tiny details, you'll be able to know who they are or which company they are from. Oh, sorry, which company they are, all right? Now let's get on to people, all right? So we can do that for corporate. Certainly we can do that for personal brand, right? People, right? Let's go on next. Uh, <clears throat> we're feeling very generous today. Uh, so can you tell, wow, who is this? AS Marketing. I think it's our staff, right? Uh -huh. AS Marketing. <laughs> Okay, la, it's Lee Kuan Yew. <laughs> okay, let's release that. From that tiny detail, you are able to tell. La. <laughs> yes, it's none other than our founding father, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Okay, right, which we all love him. All right. <laughs> okay, next. No back for you because I know you are our staff. <laughs> okay, next one. Leave it to the rest of them. <laughs> Guess who is this? Wow. Amoy Mendy, you got it. It's Trump. You see? Okay, let's release. Yes, both of you got it right. Amoy, are you from Singapore? <laughs> Can you drop us your email detail? That's none other than Donald Trump with his signature hair, white hairdo, right? Okay. Yes. Are you in India? <laughs> I see what I can do to deliver the bag to you. Otherwise, I'll deliver the book. I'll try to get someone to deliver to you, okay? The bag itself. All right. Thank you, Amoy. Drop us your email, please, so that we can know how to get hold of you. If not right, you can also drop us your... We can we can WhatsApp you, okay? Drop us... Uh, no, don't drop us your number, because it's in the public itself. Just drop us your email address. We'll, we'll send it back to you. Okay, ready. Good. Next, let's guess. Aha. Uh -huh. Someone who is also very famous for his uh, hairstyle hairdo. Okay, who is that? Anyone? Yes, anyone? Anyone? Hey, hello. AS Marketing. <laughs> Roger, Benny. <laughs> I don't have that much. <laughs> hello, AS Marketing. I think you have to stop posting here. Okay. AS Marketing. Who is this? Okay. Correct. It's Xi Jinping. All right. Let's disclose it. She, she got it right. Uh, however, AS Marketing, I think you need to stop posting here. I think you know my slide. <laughs> yes, it's not other than the Premier of China, Mr. Xi Jinping. Okay, all right. Okay, got it. Next. Should be easy to guess, huh, the next one. Ah, uh -huh. Anyone? Now, there, there's a reason why we show that part, huh? Okay, that's like his sweater, his signature, you know. And I'll give you another one more hint, okay? Abe. <laughs> okay, you should, you should be able to tell right now. Right, other. Correct, Christine Chin. Christine, drop us your email address. That's Steve Jobs. Apple founder, that's right. Christine, drop us your email address. We're going to send you that Douglas back. Okay, the laptop back. Okay, that's Steve Jobs. You see, we just did something that's very simple. And, and you know what? It's to show you that, you know, it's not just in fact, personal branding is really about the whole package and being consistent, okay? Donald Trump, you can never see him doing a central part. <laughs> His hairstyle will be forever, forever be dead. And Xi Jinping also, okay? So personal branding is not just about the online branding itself. It's also about your look and feel, okay? So, which I'm going to touch on that, right? Next slide, please. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm going to share with you a, a video that was being done uh, for me by my uni itself uh, to promote education and when they interviewed me uh, so they find out more about me in fact I didn't even disclose to a lot of my friends out there 
what I used to do. Okay, uh, that I, I come from a very humble beginning. All right, I wasn't born with a ghost or silver spoon uh, in my mouth. So, can can you just join me on my journey in watching this video that's done by my universities uh, promoting education uh, and how we can actually catch up uh, our education even if we have uh, missed out during our younger days. Okay, so I'm going to share with you this video. All right, so yeah, do join me in this video. Growing up in a poor family, paying for my karate classes was a constant challenge. But my karate sensei taught me invaluable life lessons. He taught me that victories can only be won through self-discipline, endurance, and continuous self-improvement. At 17, I dropped out of school to reduce the financial burden on my mother and worked as a delivery man. I did not earn very much, but I knew I had to start somewhere. Along the way, I met many kind people who took care of me. With their help and encouragement, I found the strength to continue pressing forward. In 1999, I finally saved up enough to set up my own events and marketing company. When I first started, I had to do everything on my own. But I never looked back. Business started to grow, and so did my team. To meet growing demands and challenges, I felt the need to upgrade myself. I decided to go back to study. Even though I have not studied for a long time, education reopened my eyes to many concepts that could help me drive my business forward. As long as we try, it's never too late for us to continue where we left off. 18 years has passed since I decided to walk the entrepreneur path and we are now a successful company driven by a strong and dynamic team. My hard work eventually paid off. Today, I hope to inspire the younger generation just like how karate and education have inspired me. I wish to pass on to them the values of self-discipline, endurance and lifelong learning no matter what stage of life we are at or how much we have achieved, our quest for knowledge must never stop. Because it is only through learning that we are able to soar to greater heights in life. So that's that's being done by my university itself, which I also won the Alumnus of the Year Award, which is only awarded uh, to only one individual throughout the world for that year itself. So uh, thanks to my universities for wanting to do that, uh, to inspire, to try to inspire people with that story itself. Now, um, that's why, that's my beginning, you know, I actually uh, dropped out during my poly time. Uh, that was because I was uh, highly involved in uh, my, my interests. In debates which i'm going to share with you later all right and from then i i started you know, working and then uh saving up for my education while i was working as a delivery driver uh and i remember those days that i have to attend night classes in the marketing institute of singapore that's where i started off with all right so thanks chandra thank you so much chandra i think i know you from singapore Expo. <laughs> okay so, uh, and then uh, that that really created a, a, well, it really mapped out my career path. From then onwards, totally a different thing. So, um, yep, I would, I would like to share uh, with all of you. And then, uh, you know, to those who are unable to or cannot afford uh, their education during their teens or even their early adults, it's never too late to start, okay? Now, which, what I'm doing or what I have done, uh, uh, perhaps I can share with you another video uh, in China itself, uh, where we promote uh, educations and even competitions among the young students. Let me show you that.
四月二十四日上午，二零一八年新加坡全球品牌策划大赛——中国地区选拔赛在昆明隆重开幕。中国国际贸易促进委员会、商业行业分会、中国贸促会、商事法律服务中心、昆明市博览事务局等主要领导参加了开幕式。同时，还有来自北京、天津、上海、重庆等二十二个省、直辖市和自治区近百名企业代表，以及一千一百多名高校师生，共同参加开幕仪式及相关活动。据悉，品牌策划竞赛已成功举办了五届，该活动已成为中国品牌与国外品牌交流切磋品牌建设经验的重要平台。该大赛以产学合作为基础，服务中小企业品牌、培育和服务中小企业走出去为宗旨，不仅考核参赛选手基于中小企业的品牌运营状况，运用品牌管理相关知识，开展品牌策划的实战能力，还进一步提高了在校大学生的动手能力、创意策划能力和与人交往沟通的能力。这个公民的一个很好的平台，就学生跟各地都能交流，所以学生所能受惠、受益的呢，就是说，呃，他可以，他可以说观摩，呃，别的别的那个国家的学生，他们的那个表达能力跟表达方式，所以这点我觉得非常重要。据了解，此次选拔赛分组赛环节采取品牌策划方案陈述与现场答辩的方式进行，主要考核选手基于中小企业目前的品牌运营状况，运。用品牌管理相关知识，开展品牌策划的能力。各参赛队以品牌策划工作室的名义，基于企业目前的品牌状况，研究其商业模式，制定一份旨在提升企业品牌的策划方案。最终将选出每组前两名参加选拔赛精英赛冠亚季军的角逐。进入精英赛的选手均有资格代表中国大陆地区，于六月十七日赴新加坡参加全球总决赛。Okay, hi everyone. Sorry, I, I couldn't provide the translation. Anyway, uh, just to kind of、uh, just to give you a summary, it's about promoting students' interaction through competition. So we actually organize, or we、uh, yeah, we organize the global brand planning competition every year in Singapore. All right, and the Marketing Institute of Singapore has partnered the Global Chinese Marketing Federation together with the China Council for Promotion of International Trade (CSE) uh, Council of uh, yeah sub -council, Commercial Sub Council itself. And it's being done in Singapore every year. So、uh, this is also our way of giving back to the society, trying to, to promote interaction among the students and stuff. And we all do this at our own time, free of charge. Okay. Now,、uh, and of course, this is what I've been doing. And in my uh, professional uh, circus itself, I I also you know we also I also do a bit of personal branding on my own. So perhaps I can share with you on my next、um, slide. Okay.、Um, thanks to my peers from Teochew. Some of you probably would have known me. I'm actually a Teochew Pranakan. Okay, so I've also been a bit of active、uh, in the Teochew community. So thanks to them, I've actually won the、uh, Teochew Entrepreneur Promising Award、uh, by Teochew Poet. And on that, on that particular, I actually won two awards. In fact, even the grand award for the Teochew Promising Grand Promising、uh, ASEAN Award also by the Teochew Poet Week One. Okay, as you can see, some of the news coverage out there. Okay, next. Uh, I'm going to share with you why. You know what I've said during the、uh, award ceremony itself, which is something that I truly believe. Let me share with you the video on、uh, my beliefs. Okay, my values. It's always good to actually have your business as your passion, being very passionate about what you do. Now, if you're able to do that, then work doesn't—it's not work anymore. It becomes like a hobby. Now, imagine if today, day in and day out, you're engaged in your hobby itself. Then I think you will be very passionate about what you're doing. So, my life philosophy when it comes to business is that try to enjoy what you're doing, find pleasure in what you're doing. Then you turn your business into a hobby, and you'll be very passionate about it. Okay, hi everyone. Okay, so back again. Now I truly believe in creating passion, in in having passion in whatever things that you do, and in immense, intense passion itself. So some of my friends out there, I think、uh, Mr. P. Subramaniam, and some of the friends that really know me, even including Chandra itself, right?、Uh, you know that I've always been a very passionate, sometimes overreact, <laughs> okay,、uh, overactive. All right. 
So uh, that is my nature. You know, I always put, to me, I, I've never worked, uh, I think for the past 20 years, I've never worked a day in my life because I'm doing something that I'm always very passionate about. And I work seven days a week and almost more than 16 hours per day. All right. So um, that's, that's, to me, it's, it's really nothing because I really and truly enjoy my work. Okay. Next slide, please. Now, uh, this is uh, where uh, even at a very young age, you know, I started to do a bit of personal branding by taking part in a lot of activities. Uh, this is where we represented the Nian Polytechnic in the inter-tertiary debate finals uh, in 1984, where we met the NUS Team 1. Vivian Balakrishnan was the, was the last speaker. And uh, then I already knew that he is he's, he's going to be someone uh, very influential. Uh, uh, representing the Polytechnic itself, uh, where we come in as the first runner up. Okay. Okay, back to uh, personal branding itself. Now, you know how important personal branding is to a corporate? Now, uh, in, in fact, in China itself, right, you can see this, not just in China, in fact, uh, throughout the world. In China itself, I don't know if you've heard about this company called Leaning. Okay. And Leaning, Leaning is actually a person, the founder's name, right? They are very famous for their. Uh, their records and uh, their sports shoes and their sports apparels, right? And in Hangzhou itself, Sang Xiaoquan company itself, where they manufactured scissors, okay, which is named after the founder of uh, Sang Xiaoquan, uh, scissors manufacturer itself. Now, of course, in Beijing itself, the Wang Zihe food group company itself is also named after the founder of Wang Zihe. Let's look at something that's a bit more global, okay? So I think all of you know McDonald's, right? Okay, so. Personal branding has been used as a corporate branding in this instance, right? Uh, Richard and Maurice McDonald itself, right? They founded the McDonald's and Harvey Norman, uh, Gerald Harvey and Yen Norman itself, including Mark Spencer by Michael and Thomas, okay? Michael Mark and Thomas Spencer. What's Disney, our favorite <laughs> cartoon characters and movies coming from there by Disney, okay? Calvin Klein, everyone knows. Louis Vuitton, someone was saying Louis Vuitton, my favorite brand. Uh, Baskin Robbins is by Bert Baskins and Irvin uh, Robbins. And of course, our local brand champion, Charles and Keith. Okay. Ah, yeah, Venus Cake too. <laughs> Charles and Keith, our local brand, which is gaining really good popularity among uh, the globally. And I, whenever I visit China, you know, sometimes they were telling me about, hey, Charles and Keith, you know, whenever I see. So, yeah, our very proud local brand that's being named after the founder, Charles Wong and Keith Wong. Okay. All right, so you know that's why I said you know uh, managing your personal brand is important, and it actually will help your corporate in times of resiliency. All right, uh, so let's move on to my next slide, please. Thanks. Now the eight laws of personal branding, not by me. Uh, uh, this is by Brian Tracy. I don't give him the credit itself. The eight laws: number one, specialization, leadership, personality, distinctiveness, visibility, utility, persistence, and goodwill. Let me do a bit of explanation on this. Okay. All right. So for specialization itself, it's really to focus your brand on one particular area, being specialized, and to achieve it. Now, it cannot be all, all things all the time to everyone, right? So specialization actually comes from you, okay? And you have to focus, to just focus on one thing itself when it comes to personal branding. And of course, leadership. Your brand, your brand, your own personal brand itself needs to be recognized as the most knowledgeable, respected, respectable, or skilled people in your own field. All right, knowing how and where you want to be a leader within your field to build up your own personal brand, okay? And third, personality. Your brand needs to actually build around your own personality, right? You have to be authentic, including your flaws, okay? Now, you can't be perfect all the time. So the easiest way is to decide on how you want to be perceived and to ask yourself, what would be a good way for people to describe me, okay? So that is about personality and, of course, distinctiveness. After creating your personal brand, you need to make sure that you express your brand in a unique way, what we call your USP, your unique selling proposition, okay? And how can you create a way for people to remember you, your brand, your personal brand, long after they come in contact with you, all right? Finding your own distinctiveness will actually allows you to stand out from your peers and your competitor. And visibility, okay? Now, to be effective, uh, personal brand building, okay? Uh, you must actually be seen as being consistent and repeatedly, okay? Now, forming a personal brand can be similar to a show business, right? If you and your brand are not out there networking, 
and getting involved with people around you or you know people that you want to know, then you know the visibility is not there. Then who knows you? Okay, especially in today's context where you have the online and offline, the only channel media itself. You should be engaging on both. Okay, and of course, which brings me to my next point: the utility. All right, your personal brand must align with you as a person. All right. There can be nothing worse than a brand to find out that the person behind the brand is completely opposite of what they claim to be. Be consistent. What you show to the public, it, must, it has to be you, like what we say, as, as authentic as possible. Now, the greatest feedback your brand or your personal brand can receive is that, you know, people say that you're always the same, all right? Even behind closed doors, okay? So being consistent is the, is the word. Persistent. Now, after establishing your personal brand itself, right, give it time to grow. You can't be expecting you know, overnight fame, right? Making sure that, you know, uh, to ignore the trends that doesn't align with your personal brand itself right? and continue to stick with your values. Now, as in my values, I'm always very passionate, okay? Now, there's no point in establishing a personal brand uh, and have your values frequently change so that, you know, uh, your people will not be able or someone out there will not be able to follow or to get behind you, okay? And last but not least, goodwill, right? And that is to do more charity. <laughs> Uh, the more that you are perceived as well as intention or as a good-hearted person, the more influential your personal brand will become. All right. So therefore, aim to actually have a positive impact on people around you. Okay. So that's where uh, you can see a lot of uh, um, philanthropists uh, doing philanthropists doing a lot of philanthropy work out there. So the eight laws of personal branding. Uh, it's not from me. It's by Byron Tracy itself. So you can find his video. All right, on YouTube. Let's go on to the next slide. So definitely, okay, so what is personal branding? So personal branding is often associated with great values and qualities that create, create a positive impression itself and uh, impressive experiences that you are giving to people. And of course, it comes with integrity and reputation, okay? And it revolves around the area of your expertise and professionalism. So therefore, you need to actually position your personal brand, okay? by creating a positive impression on anyone, all right, relating to the employment situation right now, okay? And of course, uh, it will help you in terms of growing your business, especially in this time. That's why we talk about resiliency in terms of uh, your corporate uh, branding, all right, writing on your personal branding. And of course, successful personal branding often uh, project a similar quality being consistent itself and uh, the value of your own personal brand, okay? Next. Now, to, to some extent, personal branding is also uh, associated with uh, influential marketing, especially in this age of digital marketing itself, social media, right? So, um, you know, so to, to some, a personal corporate brand or personal brand itself, it's like the olden days where you give out name cards. <laughs> Please don't give out name card nowadays, huh? be environmental friendly. Sorry, I think there are lightning and thunder in my place. Okay, so in this age itself, link them up on LinkedIn, Facebook, Okay, there are so many platforms out there. All right, if you're not doing that, then ask yourself why not. Okay, okay, it's it's always very funny, you know. Sometimes when you want to do something and yet you don't feel like exposing yourself, so there are, there's really an influx of a lot of people doing personal branding. So if you don't do that, then like what I said, someone will do that on behalf of you. Do you want that to happen? <laughs> I guess not. Okay, right. Let's go on to our next. Um, now the four key benefits of personal branding: business employability. Okay. Now, business doesn't mean that uh, you, employability doesn't mean that you, you, you be employed. Yes, there's a, another meaning towards that. that. That is how you can actually get your business out there, okay? And being engaged uh, by your customers, okay? And of course, it can be, uh, the other way to look at it, it can be, you know, that, that you are employable, uh, that people knows about you, okay? Now, the company visibility, uh, getting your company being visible out there, of course, through social selling, and thought leadership. Let me come into a bit more detail on the four benefits itself. Now, <clears throat> the business employability in this instance, of course, here is saying that, you know, set yourself apart from others, being the person itself that people knows about you, especially on social media platform on LinkedIn. All right. And it really helps you to be employable. Now, having to, to look at the other way, LinkedIn is not just a, a, a platform where, you know, where you look to be hired, you know, by by this uh, agencies and things like that. It's also a platform for you to actually promote your business, okay? Which brings me to my next point, which is the company's visibility. Now, 
It actually helps, right, with good personal branding, it actually helps your company to attract attention for the products and servicing that, services that you're providing, okay? The company will remain relevant during tough time, especially now, All right? Remember, you're always dealing with people and whoever that's behind the company itself. It's not just about the company alone. Even if you visit, like, you know, some of the fast food chains, you are being served by someone, okay? So business branding enhanced by good personal branding in tough time during this time, okay? But which I'll, I'll probably will give you some 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 pointers you know, during COVID nineteen what we what we are doing in terms of engaging our clients through personal branding. All right, next point, <coughs> thought leadership. Okay, now status of thought leadership will actually attract your client, your partners, or sponsors coming in to you for your insight. Uh, for me, uh, in particular, um, I'm being seen as a event or creative person. They always like to come to me to ask for ideas. Hey Roger, what do you think about this? You think that this is good, you know? And I always like to throw very creative ideas. Uh, the, 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 the thing about throwing ideas is easy, all right? But executing it, <laughs> that is a challenge, right? So show thoughtfulness and reliability of a leader, okay? Which in turn shows the reliability of the business itself. Stay true to your promise. Remember, a brand is always a promise, all right? So people will think of and look for you for any relevant services during tough times. Now, I do have some of my customers coming to me. Uh, Roger, we're cutting down on budget, so can you do something for us? Coming back to me, All right? So, uh, that's where they will still think of you. They will still come back to you because you possess certain values that they can relate to. Okay, and uh, trustworthiness is one of those. Okay, All right. Go on. Good personal branding will bring an increase in terms of visibility for or uh, of your business on social media. All right, so. Through your personal branding, they would like to know you first. It's easier to know you, to find out more about you than just the company alone because they don't, you don't always think behind the company itself. So greater exposure will equate to increase in social selling, okay? And definitely, you know, this will actually help the company to generate the revenues during this difficult time. You notice that I've been talking about difficult time because this is the situation which we are in right now, okay? Let's go on. Ah, the power of personal branding. You know this guy? Right, he's the founder of Tesla, Solar City, and SpaceX. Okay, now, you see, through his personal branding itself, he actually brings across all these organizations. All right, hence the uh, wonderful speakers. You can actually hear him on TED Talks. Okay, go on. So, personal brand is really about your reputation and who you want the publicly known you as. Okay. It represents that what you are known and it helps to actually form a lasting impression in the mind of your audience. Now, sometimes the brand itself you can't really relate to because it really doesn't really speak to you. But for personal branding itself, you are able to create an immediate impression. Right? Remember first impression last. Okay, so how you want to be consistent and how you want to put forth yourself, it is important. Okay, let's go on. This is the source from Pricewater, uh, uh, PwC. Okay. Your personal brand is about your reputation again. Now, psychologically, rep uh, rep reputation represents the collective mental construct of everyone, except you are. Uh, what do you think about yourself is not important, but what they think about you is important, okay? So, an individual reputation is like a entry ticket. It can allow you to enter or participate or have a certain various opportunity. Let me give you a very, I don't know whether should I name the example. Okay, fine. All right, so, you know, um, I've got my favorite restaurant. Uh, and every time I go there, I make it a point that I greet everyone in that restaurant as well. It's a Chinese restaurant, but anyway, it's just beside Bras Basta. It's called Asia Grand. I make it a point that the, my very first visit, I make it a point that I introduce myself to the people that, uh, that are at the reception that actually show me, show me to the table, taking orders, and then to all the, uh, the managers, including the, the, the owner. Of the restaurant itself, all right. So try to create a, 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 an impact in the very beginning, and then you know every time when I call, I would say you know, and they know who who I am. They just call up, and then I, I'm able to get tables booking even on Mother's Day, <laughs> but not for this year, <laughs> right? Let's go on. Okay, so your brand is what people say about you when you are not in the room. Okay, this is by Jeff Bonzo. Okay, the founder of Amazon. So. so a very good thing is that you know get your peers to actually find out like, what are they talking about you. When you're there, usually they won't tell you. you know? <laughs> they, they won't want to offend you. So truly, 
You want to know what are they talking about you behind your back, isn't it? All right. Go on. Okay, so who can benefit from personal branding? Professionals, aspiring, uh, an experienced leader, executive, and freelancers. Okay, so strong personal branding actually increase your visibility, your credibility, and memorability. Okay, you have to make it. You have to make it in such a way that they can remember you. And of course, it, it should come with some positive traits. Okay, and so what is the process towards personal branding? Um, let me share with you. There are three steps. Huh? One, discover. Okay, communicate and align. Discover what makes you unique, uniquely you. Okay, the even better still, there's only one you in this world. So what's so unique about you? Okay, communicate your value proposition. Okay. Third, align everything around you to build a consistent message. Okay, let me go to the steps. All right, discover. Okay, step number one. About, it's about defining yourself as it is fundamental in terms of building personal brand. You need to define yourself. You need to know yourself. I think in marketing, we always talk about SWOT analysis. That's something that all of us hear all the time. All right, so you need to know, know about your strength, your uniqueness, your weakness. Okay. Values, what are your values? Your passion, like what I am. I'm always very passionate about new things, about discovering new things. Your purpose, define your purpose, you know, what's your contributions? And and lastly, get your personal brand. Okay. So knowing all this will really first and foremost define yourself. Define yourself. Okay. So this is what I am. Know your weakness so that you can actually build on your weakness to become a strength. Okay, go on. Step two. Now the key element of your personal brand, your brand vision. Your desired reputation. Now, sometimes, uh, just put yourself a bit forward. Three years down the road, so what do you want people to talk about you? Okay, so that's where you start to plan your desired reputation. Three years down the road, or five years down the road, or even ten years down the road. So your brand mission. What's your main purpose? Why are you here? <laughs> and your brand personality, your personal characteristics and traits. Okay, I'm being known to be very talkative. Uh, I, I I have to share with you. During my primary schools, right, every time my report book that comes back every year, talkative and playful boy, I became. What's wrong with being talkative? <laughs> yeah, of course, you know, you disrupt others besides being disruptive to others and stuff. I can express, right? So that's where I find that, you know, the. So if you, you, if you are not someone that's very talkative, you can always find something about you, your personal characteristics. You don't have to pick it. All right. You just have to be authentic. And then what are your key brand message to them? Trustworthiness, honesty, you know, hardworking, things like that. Okay? Right, go on. Okay. Now, Jack Ma is known for his perseverance and for hiring the right talent and, and for enjoying life. Okay, this guy, he knows it. He has it, everything. You know, and I, was, I, I know that, you know, he, when he founded uh, Alibaba himself, uh, in fact, his whole entire crew was with him, even without pay. Okay? So that's really about leadership, right? Able to inspire people to follow you, right? To, to even forego some of their benefits. Let's go on to the next. Okay, step two, communicate your value proposition. So now, value proposition is a statement that tells your audience that you're different and valuable, okay? You have to be different, right? You can't be just any one of the masses out there. Unnoticeable. So take a holistic approach towards building your brand itself, okay? All right, go on to the next. Now, on paper itself, uh, it's quite easy. Resume, cover letters, thank you. How many of you actually send thank you notes? Uh, I wonder. <laughs> For managers, colleagues, clients, networking, contacts, and other professionals, it's easy nowadays. You can just text, uh, hello, happy birthday, and all things like that. And of course, last but not least, publishing books. Now, I've been trying to tell some of my peer out here. Share, all right? Just publish some of your journals and books itself, okay? All right, make it a book so that you can share. The books is the easiest, especially, you know, with books like that. You know, they'll be asking for your autograph and they want to find out more about you. Okay, next. In person. Okay, so in paper, in person. Now, go for networking events, social gathering, business meetings. I know people that, hey, how come, you know, they, they'll ask me, why, why did they know about this? Why didn't this group know? But you're staying at home all the time. <laughs> how else would they want, to, uh, want they to know about you if you don't even attend any meetings or even networking sessions? So you really have to get yourself out there, right? Personal brand is like, you know, it's personal, but yet you have to get yourself out there, okay? In terms of social gathering and networking and getting people to know you, okay? Go. And don't, yeah, like what I said, you know, uh, by folks, uh, uh, Christine Stewart, the vice president of um, 
media north america and media itself the more we share the more we invite others to connect all right and the connections are the key towards building network in personal and professional spheres um, of our lives network as we know are the breeding ground for opportunities if you don't get yourself out there how else would they know how else would they find out about you so don't miss out on any networking uh, opportunity that are being offered by the marketing industry of Singapore. Okay, we do have our guru sessions, but of course now, no choice, you're being locked down. So the, 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 the best thing that you can do is text, send messages, and email them. <laughs> okay, right, go on. Digital platform, yes. In person, in, on paper, and digital platforms is today, current, right? What you should be doing. Add values to your follow, uh, follow speed, Facebook. Stay engaged. Build a community around the content that you like. In marketing, for example, be relevant and be active to keep yourself top of the mind of the audience itself. No point being the second or third. You have to be the number one person that will come to you, especially when it comes to your subject matter in terms of expert itself. Now, showcase your portfolio online. If you're not visible on LinkedIn right now, I think you're in for a big trouble. Okay, let's go next. Six online branding tips. Okay, uh, for building or for managing your reputation. Number one, have you ever tried Googling yourself? Try now. <laughs> okay, and the results should reflect your desired image. It's not just about your Facebook or your LinkedIn. Eh? There should be some other media talking about you or what you are doing. Okay, now also become uh, becomes an active user of LinkedIn. Okay, obviously <laughs> PwC promoting LinkedIn at the same time. Tweet and uh, about topics related to your professional interests. To me, it's about marketing, karate, and I love to sing, so therefore karaoke. <laughs> Someone's going to blame me for bringing that up. Okay, uh, bring offline relationship online. All right, connect with people that you haven't spoken for a long time. Hi, Chandra. I know I haven't been reaching out to you. for now I send this out here. Sorry about that. I'll be texting you shortly. <laughs> okay, now share your professional status. Update your followers on Instagram or, or Facebook. And stay diligent about your online presence. Okay, well, remember, it's not old stories that you want to know, it's all the new stories, what ha what's happening to you out, out there. It's so easy, you don't even need to remember anyone's birthday, because Facebook will prompt you on their birthday, okay? Right, next. So, step three is about being consistent, okay? Effective personal branding is about being consistent about what you want to show. You can't be like, uh, today, uh, I'm a dog lover. Oh, I you know, and tomorrow, uh, you know, I I you know, I decide to take interest in cats, and I like you know some tropical fish, and things like being being consistent. What you are just drive in one message, okay? Because it's really cluttered out there. So your personal brands need to be consistent with your reputation, okay? Uh, I can't help you if you've got a bad reputation out there, but you still can like you know for for bad publicity. Uh, you need to also try yourself to actually how to navigate your way out. Okay, so being consistency uh, builds credibility and clarity about who you are. Okay, how to build up your personal branding during COVID? This is what all of us want to know, right? Uh, no point talking about things that are in the past because the presence is going to be changed. Uh, we are in for a big surprise if we are still. Thinking about wow, what what I was what I was doing 2019, 2018. It's now present, moving on. What can you be doing? All right. Oh, okay. Next, get personal. Okay. All right. Don't call a call to your customers and your suppliers. You can't meet them. You can't go out for lunch with them. The the least that you can do is take them, call them. Hey, please remember me. I'm still around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Show genuine care and concern with personal touch. No fake. Everyone can tell you if you're faking, okay? Be authentic. All right? There's a difference, you know, like, how are you getting on? Oh, hey, how are you? Uh? You know? All right? So there's a difference in terms of your tonality, especially if you can't meet you eye to eye. All right? And not all the time you're on video chat, okay? Now, tough times don't last, okay? But love do, okay? So learn to love everyone around you. So... If you want to know my number, uh, after this, you can get from the staff. <laughs> can send me loves uh, over text. Collaboration over competition. Yes. Now, this is something I think one of our speakers did talk about. I think Professor Nisha. All right, she loves collaboration right now. 
uh, especially when there are a lot of event companies competing against each other, then this is the time where we have to collaborate and bring all our resources together. Okay, all right. So during tough time, it's about pulling together, all right, and surviving. Uh, instead of the survival of the strongest itself, no point killing everyone within your your competition. Bring all the resources together, all right? Because I think because of all this tough time, you'll be seeing a lot of budget cuts, including yourself. You'll probably be cutting down some of your costs. Now, this is where you can share some of your resources with even your competing company itself and, you know, and survive through the COVID period, okay? All right. Inspire success through working together. Okay. Show lots of love. You know, something that I realized out of the whole COVID-19, something good is that we start to love the earth, right? The world. <laughs> uh, all right. So we've been doing a lot of damages. So love the people around you, okay? Work together, inspire them. All right. So... People love a deal maker, not a deal breaker. Okay, so I think that's quite direct. All right, so try to make yourself a deal maker. Okay, all right. Get ready. Get really social on social media itself. Okay, uh, people love seeing positive messages during tough times. Now, the very reason why MIS we are doing this every day, you know, uh, thanks to I think Keith Subramaniam, you know, he mentioned earlier. Well, I really want to thank you guys, man. Every day doing this. Uh, the work behind it, yes, there are a lot of work behind it. In fact, if you are not seeing the work behind it, in fact, you know, liaising, uh, liaising with the trainers, getting the slides, making sure that the, 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 the platforms is ready, uh, network ready, cameras, everything, you know, so uh, so that you can bring a, a across a very pleasant experience during this time for all of you. Okay, so that's something positive. That's why MIS, we're doing more on social right now, on social media, because we can't reach out to you right now. You know, my people can't, can, or our colleagues can't visit you, right? The only way is you know, to contribute to all of you here by having our free lunchtime webinar. Be really active on social platforms like LinkedIn and Facebook. So check out our Facebook right now. In fact, every day you will see posts or at least some posts on our webinar, okay? Share some helpful facts and useful information, no fake news. Exactly what I'm doing, right? Oh, sorry, what we are doing, MIS. We get the trainers to share with you their experience and their area of expertise. So, can inspire you to actually find out more, okay? Right. Next. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, for me itself, uh, I've been doing quite a fair bit, all right? Uh, and in fact, I was telling my partner, I'm so sorry, half of the time I'm doing free work, uh, um, promoting uh, MIS, which is a not-for-profit organization. And I do have our previous president here, Mr. Mike Singh. Thanks, Mr. Mike Singh, uh, for joining us all this while. Mike, please drop me your contact details. I'm going to send you the book and a bag from MIS, our Douglas bag. Okay, Mike, please share with us your email details again. So I've been doing interviews. And of course, for my sports, I love karate. I grew up with it. I learned, I benefit from it. So I'm contributing back uh, to the sport itself. All right, so as you, as you know, karate is, has been quite down over the past few years. But you'll be hearing good news from us. I just received a piece of good news. Okay, so yeah. Which I'm not going to share here. <laughs> let just let's uh, let let the media announce it. Okay, let's go on. Yes, this is where we share, right? Uh, I'm very fortunate, uh, somehow or rather, because of my industry in uh, events and and, and ent uh, entertainment, all right, um, that I'm able to share the personal brand awards uh, with uh, Miss Lumia International, both uh, 18 and 19, and Mr. World Singapore 2020. You'd be surprised, you know, uh, especially for Miss Lumia International, yeah, we have like people coming from various parts of the world and how they actually address their personal branding, right? Because uh, we need to vote them into the top winners itself or the pageant or the crown. So uh, they are very active in terms of personal brand. Every individual one of them, you can actually find out like the differences between them. So really it's about uniqueness, right? To put yourself there and make sure that they know who you are, right? So I've come to the end of my slides. Okay, I hope uh, you've probably picked up a thing or two, like what we said, or like what I said yesterday, or even today before we start. It's more about me sharing uh, my, my journey in terms of personal branding stuff. Now remember, personal branding, you need to ask yourself a question. So while you probably know your tangible net worth, okay, what about your intangible? All right, well, you, you know, this, this is really about the quality net worth uh, versus the quantity net worth. Right, you know, you know, perhaps you, you know of a certain uh, people that have like that amount of network value behind them. But what about the quality network, which is
is very difficult to measure, right? So this is where uh, I think qualitative, qualitative feedback okay, on you will actually help in terms of building your personal brand. So I need to share with you also this, uh, this experience of mine that I had uh, a couple of years back in Sri Lanka. Same thing happened. Uh, I was being invited there to be, uh, to be talking, to be a speaker for events itself, or how to create uh, personal events. Um, and I was, I was rather surprised they didn't ask anything from me. And I was, I was surprised to actually see the brochures with my pictures, with my credentials there and everything. So ask yourself, do you have a vis visual identity right now? Okay, if you are able to log on to Google itself, right, find under that, are you able to see some of the pictures under your phone that you have? Right? Otherwise, that's how, how would they know who are they dealing with, correct? Right? So for me, I'm very consistent. For the past 10 years, I've been dressed like that. Black, 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 everything black. <laughs> so <laughs> I've been known as the man in black anyway. <laughs> okay. So I've come to the end. So uh, like what I said, you know, um, a lot of you actually have tremendous potential. But because it's the way that other people are talking about you, and if you didn't get out there and they never will, they'll never get to know you, then how would you be able to engage in a big brand image that will indirectly, of course, impact your corporate branding and stuff? Okay, so I've reached the end. So um, yeah, I welcome any questions that you have. Uh, and you can always put out your hands. I can always uh, unmute you. Um, so I can't be asking myself questions. <laughs> okay, right. So uh, any questions from the floor? Mike, uh, Mike, please drop me your email. I really want to get in touch with you again and uh, perhaps to present you the book that we just got, The Marketing 4.0. Quite interesting. A lot of new ideas out there. I uh, hope that you can, you, know, you, can, you can actually share with your peers over there. Um, so anyone, any questions? Wow, all of you are so nice to me today. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thanks, thanks to all of you. Uh, I think we have reached the end of our whole lunchtime webinar. This is our last session. Um, and then uh, really, we will all miss you, especially to all of you out there. Uh, some of you have been following us from the, right from the beginning. Uh, some, some, some of you probably midway through. Um, you know, I hope, we hope uh, on MI's side that we've, we've done something good for you at least to keep you a company to end of circuit breaking. Hopefully by 2nd of June, uh, that, ev uh, that everything will gradually return to normal. Okay, This is the only last bit that we can be doing for you. So, so do, do find out more about us and join us. You know, We are all volunteers, uh, other than the staff. I think Mike will tell you, we are, we are all volunteers and staff. Uh, and we really want to take our time to actually uh, come and network and connect with you. And hopefully through interactions, we'll be able to find out more with, about each other. And that's how we build personal branding, isn't it? Okay, thank you all of you. All right, so we've reached towards the end of our lunchtime. And hopefully, uh, we were able to see you all again and, um, in the near future in some of our events. Do find out more. Uh, thank you, Chandra. Thank you so much. I'll be calling you for sure. <laughs> okay, and uh, hope to see you and hope you have a great time and enjoying your lunch. See you again. Bye.